When you think minivans, you think cargo volume, cup holders, mom's taxi, dad mobile. Well, today it's all about automatic sliding doors, automatic lift gates, drop down entertainment systems, in vehicle vacuum cleaners. Yes, my friends, the struggle is real and minivans are here to save us, moms and dads alike. Hey everybody, this is Dave Erickson with Everyman Driver and I'm wrapping up my week-long drive and review of this 2018 Toyota Sienna, which comes in five trim levels, L, L, E, S, E, X, L, E, and Limited. We have the X, L, E. Standard is front-wheel drive. We have the optional all-wheel drive, the first vehicle in its class to offer all-wheel drive. Let's get started. So regardless of which trim level you go with, there is one engine. It's a 3.5 liter V6, made it to an eight-speed automatic transmission, 296 horsepower, not too shabby. And we, my friends, are rolling on 18-inch wheels. Fuel economy is rated at 18 city, 24 highway. I've been averaging a mixed driving this week on a full tank of gas, just under 20 at 19.8 at last count. This is the perfect example of dad life. So, double car seats. <laughs> I got the Bob stroller right here. Oh, dad life right there, golf clubs. So if I wanna put the stroller back here, I can do that. But let's say I want to fold these down. Pull this out, pull that and push back. So pull this. It's a lot easier when you have two hands. Pull, push back. So if I want to, I put the bop stroller more like this. Let, let, let's go with that. That might work. So, yeah. Good thing about this. So I have the button up here. I can press that to close it automatically. And here's something really nice. With the key fob, Let's say you do have your hands full with a, a couple of kids. I can close this door right here with the left button. There you go. And let's just so happen to say that the key fob was in your pocket somewhere and you wanted to close this one, the button just here on the side, close that up. And now that closes up. Diaper bags in there two car seats, Bob stroller. So the every mom and the every dad driver can go off on their day. So there are five main competitors, I would say, or five key competitors in the minivan segment compared to the Sienna. You've got the Honda Odyssey, obviously, Chrysler Pacifica, Kia Sedona, and the Dodge Grand Caravan. When it comes to cargo volume, at least overall cargo volume, the Sienna blows them all out over 100, well not over, 150 cubic feet of volume. So I'm gonna open the back here. I know you saw some demos earlier, but you had that button to open the back. So if you fold down the back row and the captain's chairs, 150 cubic feet of volume. The Odyssey has 144, Pacifica 140.5, Kia Sedona 142, and Dodge Grand Caravan 140. So very impressive, very spacious. Cavernous, let's go cavernous. This is super impressive. When you have these up, one-handed, when you have these up, you have almost uh, 40 cubic feet of volume behind this back row. It's actually 39.1, which is way more than the other four vehicles I mentioned. So you got the golf clubs back here. You can put, as you saw earlier, the Bob stroller, tons of space. Now, when you fold these back down, let's just, let's just assume you fold them back down, you're looking at 87 cubic feet of volume, which is still, still very impressive. Now, if you had the Odyssey, you'd find that uh, vacuum cleaner over here. No vacuum cleaner in the Sienna. So if you spill the um, Honey Nut Cheerios, no dice. If you do have your jack kit over here, I'm making a mess, but hashtag dad life. So let's say you want to make your way to the uh, back seat, the captain's chairs. Press the button on the key fob, it opens up. How is it to get inside? Super easy, barely an inconvenience. So the cool thing about these chairs here, they slide, they call seat travel, to and fro. And when you wanna get in the back, this one, slide, and you make your way back. So let's go ahead and do that part of it. And because we have so much seat travel, I can just pull the seat back, it'll lock into place, I can even bring it further back. 
And there you go. You're inside your minivan, your mini bus with two people in the front, two in the middle, and possibly three in the back. I'm not sure you'd want to have exactly three. Let's say you have me right here. If I were to slide next to myself, let's see where the shoulder position is, okay, here. So I would overlap just a little bit with my shoulder position. And then I go over here, and now I'm here in the other seat. So yeah, there would be a little bit of overlap if you had three adults back here, but no problem with teenagers, uh, kids, no problem at all. Two full-size adults and a teenager. Whatever combination, you can definitely get seven people in this vehicle the way it's configured now, but of course you have that option of eight people total. Even though we have the new technologies and special features of today, you still have plenty of cup holders. Two here, two there. There are tons in the front and there are six, a total of six O-blank handles throughout the vehicle. This is always a smart thing to have because you know, little kids get sun in their eyes. You got sunshades here for our vehicle on this window, that window, that window, and that window. There's a pair of USB ports back here to charge your smart devices. And what's in here? Yep, more cup holders. Here's a quick tour of the inside, even though I cover most of this in my just arrived video, but just in case you didn't watch that one, here's what it looks like inside. We do have a push button start. Some people might think this is funky to have the shift handle here on the dash, but I actually kind of like it. There is no Apple CarPlay or Android Auto right now, but I use a USB port to plug into my phone. And then when I do that, I can access things and create the source. Like if I had it plugged in right now, I could find the source of my phone, which would be connected to the USB. Otherwise you can do Bluetooth. We happen to have satellite. Steering wheel mounted control is pretty typical. You've got a lane departure warning right here. There's blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert. Really good stuff there. Uh, you can see, I think, in here, you'll be able to see my miles per gallon. There it is, 19.7, and I've basically done a full tank of gas. Got Bluetooth volume on this side over here. Your cruise control is in that spot there. Climate controls, mom and dads. Pop out cup holders, cup holders here. Good storage compartment in the middle. It's about as long as my elbow is to my hand so that's nice and deep overall dash good visibility you'll find up here is where you'll find the automatic lift gate you can open it and close it from here same with each side door you got the uh, sunroof that opens there of course now I get sun glare sorry about that but this is super convenient to have these from this position in the car so you can uh, close them up when you're uh, in the driver's seat. So there you go. And spaciousness for leg room for the passenger and here's that spot between. Got some crumbs down there right now but this is a really good spot for diaper bags, for purses, for small duffel bags. Right this space right here is really really nice and I've got plenty of room for my legs for the driver and other storage or places to put garbage in your side door. What's really nice about driving the Sienna is how comfortable the suspension is, especially for a long vehicle, heavy vehicle, 45 to 4,600 pounds, and all-wheel drive. So going down the road, if I were to go and just use the front-wheel drive, which you would do normally, it's when there's any slippage or the need for all wheels to be engaged, then that system kicks in and so you have that option on this car, which is nice. It's not an off-road vehicle, even though it's all-wheel drive, as some people said in my previous posts. Yeah, take it off-road, it's all-wheel drive. That, that's the criteria, right? That's not the criteria, <laughs> not the criteria whatsoever. It's comfort, and that's what the suspension is all about in this type of vehicle when you have it really long, a lot of cargo space. Um, you wanna have some comfort, sure. Cargo room's great, cup holders are great. All the other little amenities with safety, fantastic. You have the kids back there, you want to be comfortable because it can be kind of stressful as a parent, as you may know. Another thing to point out here, as you can see over my shoulder, the amount of space between the captain's chairs in the middle row, making your way back to the third row, if I had the third row up. Uh, super easy, barely an inconvenience 
of making your way back there. Uh, you have the seven and eight seat configurations we have it set up for seven right now. And you have the ability to put two car seats in the middle and two car seats in the back. They have the latch systems. Uh, for the, the car seats I have right now, I'm just using the lap belts um, strapped in so it's still safe. So you have some variety there. I jokingly said in my just arrived video that, you know, this gives the illusion or the, the feel of possibly driving a bus, you know, with the shift handle up here on the dash uh, and all the space. But I think all the space is uh, so useful and it, it has its place, whether it's the spot between the two front passenger and the driver with possibly a spot for a diaper bag, um, a purse, uh, a large duffel bag, storage of that kind. Everything, everything is in its place for a reason. Cup holders all over the place, storage in the center. The visibility is fantastic all the way around the vehicle, which is super important for a long vehicle like this. And of course you have the, the backup camera, but I, I love the amount of visibility. And we also have a, a sliding sunroof here for the driver and passenger. So the beginning MSRP on a 2018 Toyota Sienna minivan is right around $30,000, which is right on par with where the Honda Odyssey begins. Still about $3,000 more than the starting price of the Kia Sedona, Chrysler Pacifica, and the Dodge Grand Caravan. Our tester here, which also has the XLE navigation package, is just over $42,000. I think it goes without saying, this is definitely worth a look and absolutely a test drive for families all over the place, dads, moms included. I had a good time with it, and it's something I would definitely recommend to growing families. Until next time, I'm Dave Erickson. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Adios. Hey guys, it's Dave. I just want to say thanks once again for supporting Everyman Driver and watching my videos. Can you do me a small favor? The next time you're in the market for a new or used car, and want to schedule a test drive or just want to get a really great price quote from a dealership of your choice in your zip code, click on the link below and fill out a short form. It's car.show forward slash everyman driver. Now it's totally free to you and there's no obligation whatsoever to buy or lease anything. It's just a quick and easy way for you to help support my work and keep this channel going. There's also a free phone number. 844-765-0610 and you can talk to a car segment specialist for car shopping advice and direction. That call is also free to you. The link again, car.show forward slash everyman driver. I'd really appreciate it. Thanks again.